what's up guys uh, welcome this is my new youtube channel so uh, today i'm planning to take you all for a ride uh, maybe uh, we'll go for a bike ride to chamundi hill and uh, check on with our new gopro hero 10 camera check on these futures and check on the uh, new auxiliary fitting which has been fitted to my interceptor 650 before we go for a ride to goa so in this channel i'll be going to upload a few of my bike videos as long uh, I'm going for a ride and along with that we'll be posting a few of the cooking videos wherein I'm going to give you an authentic and simple recipes wherein anybody can cook at home. So hope uh, this will make good. Anyways, I'll get ready. Let's go for a ride. Well, this is going to be my first vlog and uh, you guys guess the location where we are going. This is my interceptor 650 which I'm going to ride for a few months from now so let's get a look of it okay this is actually a trial vlog I'm uh, planning to go for a ride to Goa South Goa so before that I just wanted to check how this GoPro 10 works on my bike I'm having uh, this GoPro on my LS2 helmet well guys we are just heading out from my flat well it's a Sunday afternoon around 12 p 12 30 p.m. and uh, the weather is not too hot it's quite uh, amazing weather for a ride almost around 31 or 32 degrees I guess so clear blue sky little bit of clouds scattered here and there definitely will have a beautiful rain <laughs> every rainfall in the night okay the signal is open let's move quick well this vlog is uh, from Mysore as I said so this is how Mysore is with lot of trees the roads are too wide people of Mysore are very soft uh, they tend to help with all people from different states different parts of the country the roads over here are quite wider than any other places in Karnataka because uh, this was the place where uh, we had uh, Maharajas and this was the earlier capital of uh, Karnataka the, Mysore, the whole Karnataka was known as Mysore state and this was the capital city then and uh, since they used to uh, move around in elephants on an Ambari so all the right, uh, roads are quite wide so that's how and uh, this is the place where we have the best drainage system and it was the first city to have the drainage system in Asia. We had one of the finest engineers which is produced from Mysore. For that uh, for example we can take it as Sir M. Vishweshwaraya, Bharat Ratna Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. He was the guy who designed KRS definitely we'll have one more ride towards KRS I'll take you to KRS and uh, the backwaters where uh, uh, we get to see a lot of youngsters flying drones coming on uh, off-roading Jeep so this is JSS super speciality hospital which has around 400 plus beds we have one of the finest uh, medical infrastructure in Mysore and this is, uh, the, we can tell you as the second mall of Mysore. This is Mall of Mysore, one of the most beautiful mall. Quite spacious, not too crowded. Next to it attached is the Radisson Blue Plaza. So whenever we have VAPs, our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, whenever he comes to Mysore, this is the play hotel where he stays in. And this road is called as MG Road, Mahatma Gandhi Road of Mysore. This is not the MG Road of Bangalore. 
on towards my left uh, you can see the mysore zoo the geological gardens the chamarajendra geological gardens and on sunday afternoon this is quite a big traffic in mysore mysore is usually not so crowded but uh, i guess this is a lot of tourists this is just coming they are coming in since it's a weekend you get a lot of tourists from kerala When you're happy, you ride to Chamundi Hill. When you're sad, you ride to Chamundi Hill. When you don't have anything to do, you ride to Chamundi Hill. So you ride to Chamundi Hill, irrespective of whatever the mood you are in, irrespective of what are the weather condition it is. It is one of the most beautiful place. I hope this, you guys are going to enjoy this vlog. Uh, let me give you a brief description about uh, this Chamundi Hill. This is a place where Goddess Chamundeshwari she killed Mahishasura. It's called as uh, she is also called as Mahishasura Mardini. That means uh, the person who killed Mahishasura. So once she killed. She killed Mahishasura Mardin, uh, Mahishasura on top of this hill. So this uh, this hill got a name as Sri Shamundi Betta. Atop this hill, there is a beautiful temple which was built in the 16th century. The name of the king was uh, Vishnu Vardhana, Raja Vishnu Vardhana. And uh, after that, the warriors who started ruling uh, Mysore, they improvised. they constructed uh, the steps footsteps around 1008 steps to reach this uh, sacred uh, temple sure the whether we can ride until the temple because uh, it's a sunday and they will have a barricade uh, where all the vehicles will be diverted to a parking area so you need to walk from the parking area towards the temple it's almost around uh, 500 meters so let's see if it is not too crowded we can go until the temple or else uh, we just ride until the top and come back temple is situated around 3000 uh, feet above sea level guys so just have a look at this beautiful uh, view so there's a view point where we can see a lot of tourists taking some photos and videos steering at the top of the hill even though it's so sunny even though i'm wearing a riding jacket i can feel the weather to be so calm so soothing From 
here vehicles are not allowed since it's a Sunday but then there are a lot of tourists so this is the entrance of the temple from here you have to walk you have to park your bike and walk almost half a kilometer so for now we're just going to make a u-turn and uh, I'll take you guys we'll have a look at the viewpoint so you can have a look of Mysore city how beautiful it looks from the top of this beautiful hill so we are almost reaching the viewpoint you can just see there's a lot of people a lot of tourists just waiting to have a look from the viewpoint So, guys, it's too crowded. Anyways, uh, I somehow managed to take the beautiful uh, captures of this amazing view. Just have a look from here. I hope you guys can have. Well, guys, uh, to tell about myself, uh, I'm a pakka Kannadiga. Kannada and the Tumba Ishta. I want to make a lot of people to learn Kannada, but uh, I'm there making this vlog in English because uh, I just want to convey about the heritage, the culture, whatever I see to maximum possible people around the world. I, it has to reach to the maximum possible people around the world. So that's the only intention why I'm using this universal language wherein a lot of people can understand it. But uh, dear Kannadigas, whoever is watching it, Kannada Matadi, Kannada Ulusi, Kannada Na Yallargu Kalsi, and to all the people who are living in Karnataka and yet you guys don't know how to speak Kannada, please, it's a request. It's not a demand, it's a request from my end and a lot of people from Karnataka learn Kannada, try to communicate in Kannada. It's not Kannad, it's Kannada. We love our language like you guys love your own. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. And uh, here I'm going to end my first vlog.